of audio and video players. So there are many business companies which will be, depending on the transcription process, they may be general transcription or medical transcription or legal transcription. So we might come across many job, or job opportunities when we go through this or when we are familiar with this transcription. Coming to the medical transcription, please have a look at the image, then you can understand it better. The first of all, what we do is the patient consults a doctor. I mean, the patient visits a doctor and the doctor will be examining the patient. And after examining, he will be diagnosing the patient or he will be providing treatment to the patient. And while diagnosing or providing treatment to the patient, the doctor will be dictating everything about the treatment or the diagnosis over dictaphone or microphone. Am I clear in this aspect? Can I have at least two hands raised for the confirmation to see whether my information is reaching you or not? Good. Now, so that is the first step, taking down the information. And we have to provide that the same information which is got by the doctor is uploaded on the server and we had to download it and then type it word to word. So that is what we ought to do. So what are the kinds of medical transcription? We have three types of transcription, not medical transcription. We have three types of transcription. One is generic and the other one is medical. And one more is there that is legal. So most of the time, the people they want to get the things dictated. In our olden days or in earlier days, we used to maintain the files and everything, the type, the work. But nowadays, we are depending everything in the by storing in the files and everything. Just a minute. Yes. We have a question from somebody. No. Okay, good. So whatever content is there whether it is general content or medical content or a legal content, we will be taking down the data. The data which will be uploaded by them will be downloading them and we will be typing them and then we'll be sending the same thing, whatever is typed by us. So this, this is the process and let's see the next slide to have a little bit of understanding. So what are the things which we have in this? In medical transcription, we have various types, means a comprehensive review of the patient's medical history. When a patient approaches a doctor, the doctor will be trying to analyze and evaluate or understand what is the history of the patient. So he wants to know the history so that he can give a proper treatment. And then, the doctor will be examining the patient and finding out the diseases or the ailments or whatever it is. And then he will try to suggest whether medicines are needed or surgery is needed and what other remedies are required. Let us see the next one, discharge summary. I think many of you might have heard what a discharge summary is. Even when we go to visit our patients or our friends or anyone. Whenever we visit any person in the hospital, the patient will be discharged. And before discharging the patient, they provide the discharge summary. Means for how many days a patient stayed in the hospital and what was diagnosed and what was the treatment provided and what is the post discharge care means the care which should be taken after discharging the patient the post means afterwards later so there are these are various types i'll give you everything in the screen share or i'll just share it in to your link you can have an idea about this so we have the operator report means during the surgery, what are the things which are needed or what are the things which are taken care by them or the consultation report, the progress notes and the radiology report, the pathology report and so on. So all these things will be dictated by the doctor 
and that dictation will be understood by us and we in turn have to type it and send it. That is a simple process which we had to do. It sounds very, very simple, but let us know what are the things which are needed for this. For transcription, we need few things. The first thing is English. English is known to each and every one of us, but we need a little bit good English to, Amer to understand this American accent. How many of you watch English movies? May I just see the hands raised? Is there anyone watching the English movies or talking to your friends in English only? Great, many other. So we had to enhance our standard in English and we had to familiarize ourselves in English. And most of the time we had to spend our time in English because we are dealing with the American accent and we had to go with the flow of those people. The next part is typing skills. We have to develop the speed of typing because typing, the more we type, the faster we type, the more income we get. In case our typing skill is low, naturally we type it very slow. And when we type it slow, the income which we get will also be very low. So that is a simple one. So the more faster we are, the better pay we can get. So we had to enhance our typing skills and to enhance our typing skills, we can depend on some typing apps or typing links, which will be helping us to increase the typing speed. It should be minimum around 60 words per minute. The day as the days goes by, we can try to develop the speed because we have, I think one month or one and a half month is enough for us to increase the typing speed also. So the first thing is English. And the second thing is typing skills. And the third thing is nothing but the basic computer knowledge and all of us are aware of this word. So Microsoft Word is needed because different different companies, they use different different tools, I'm sorry, different different tools for us to coordinate with them. And for us to download the audio files and to upload the typed files. So to just know this process, we need basic computer knowledge, which will be provided to you in two classes by us. And coming to the next part, that is the listening skills. So listening skills, what's meant by listening skills? What should we listen? Any guesses from anyone? May I have uh, your comments in the chat process, the way the topics we should listen or the content we should listen? So we should listen to the audio files. Every day, we should listen to the American accent. We should listen to the jargon, means the terminology used by the doctors. Different, different people use different, different terminology. Engineers, they use a different terminology. Lawyers, they use a different terminology. And normal people, they use normal terminology. Similarly, the doctors use a different terminology to communicate or to present their content. So we had to develop or enhance our listening skills. And the next part is writing skills. Yeah, we're very familiar with writing skills. So we had to develop our writing skills, especially we had to concentrate on the grammar. And in the grammar, we ought to take special care on the punctuation marks, the commas, the full stops, and the hyphens, and all these things, they play a vital role while entering the data in the typed format. So we should listen carefully, whatever we are listening should be understood by us. And then we had to type the things which are understood by us in a proper manner by using the proper punctuation marks. And the last but not the least is the time management. There is no time constraint because sometimes we'll be getting the data from the people telling that you had to complete the work within two days or three days or a day. 
So we have ample time. 24 hours time will be there or 48 hours time will be there or 72 hours time will be there. But the only criteria what is needed is the better we manage the time, the better will be our pay scale. So all these things are indirectly linked to our earning. So if our English is good, we can listen carefully, understand properly, and then put it on the paper properly. So similarly, when we have very good typing skills, we can type very fast and we can generate a very good income. So these are the things which are primarily or the basic things which are needed for us to enhance our knowledge in medical transcription. Do we have any queries or doubts or anything in this? May I just see anyone in the chat box? Okay, so let's move on to the next slide. So what are the advantages of this medical transcription job? In short, medical transcription is called as MT, MT, medical transcription. So the first and the foremost advantage is we can work from home. We need not go to the office and we can set up our own office at home as per our convenience and as per our timings and as per our location. So there is no body to compel us or force us that we have to work from here. And the second thing is the salary is not limited. So the salary varies from person to person based upon your efficiency. If you are more calibered, you get more income. If you are in the beginning stage or if at all you are an amateur, you get lesser income. So the, the thing what we ought to remember is we had to learn it a lot in order to increase our income. So salary depends upon our efficiency. And the third thing is, the third advantage, what I mean to say is, we can work with the different companies. It's not that you are supposed to work with only one company. Nobody will be restricting us or nobody will be forcing us or we need not enter into any bond or agreement stating that we are working with them only. The only thing is we have to maintain the confidentiality of each and every company and we had to abide by their rules and regulations. But we can work with different companies and we can get different paychecks. The fourth point is we can work in various sectors. Earlier I told you we can work in different companies. Companies doing the same empty job. But here we can work as a faculty we can work as an accountant. We can work in some other sector doing some other job. So whenever we find the leisure time, whenever we find the free time, we can take up this empty job and complete the assigned tasks within that simulated time. And the valid point is the comfortable timings. The timings are flexible. So we can complete the task in any time of our convenience. It may be daytime or evening or nighttime or any time. But the only thing is we ought to complete the task within the time given to us. The final thing is job security. So nobody is going to fire us in case we are giving good performance. In case they are not satisfied with the work, certainly we can opt for another job or we can opt for another company which will be hiring us because there are ample opportunities i repeat there are ample opportunities for medical transcriptionists in various fields and in various sectors i'll let you know in the next slide what opportunities we have please wait a minute Now, you can have a look of the career of a medical transcriptionist. So first, you'll be going as a junior MT. I mean, when you are in a mature stage, when you are in the beginner stage, 
you are a junior medical transcriptionist because we tend to make mistakes while drafting it or while typing it. And as the days go on, the number of mistakes committed by us decreases and then we can prove ourselves to be a senior medical transcriptionist. After a little bit of time, then we can go to the editor. I think all of you are aware of what an editor is. An editor is a person who will be editing the draft, editing the content, trying to find the mistakes, trying to rectify the mistakes, and trying to minimize the mistakes to make it flawless, to make it absolutely correct. And then, after a period of time, you would be promoted as senior editor. So as the promotions go on, our pay scale also increases. So from junior medical transcriptionist, you can go to senior medical transcriptionist, then to junior editor, and then to senior editor. Later on, you can move yourself to junior quality analyst. So you'll be analyzing it, and then you'll be evaluating it, and then you'll be making the necessary changes. Afterwards, you'll be promoted to senior quality analyst, and then the deputy manager, and finally, the manager. So these are the stages where you can get promotion based on your performance, based on your experience, and based on your caliber. So there is, it's not like that you'll be seeking only as a medical transcriptionist, even after many, many years of experience. So let's move on to the next slide. So you can have a look. So in the beginning, you'll be having a junior medical transcriptionist and senior medical transcriptionist and so on. Now we have this quality assurance editor also. He'll be reviewing the documents and supervisor. He'll be leading the team. And you can go as EHR specialist. And then administrative careers and medical transcription instructor and a self-employed medical transcriptionist that is what we are doing now. Now, let's see the salary which we are going to draw in the initial stage. The salary is based on two types. So when we are employed on an hourly basis, means if at all we are employed from nine to five, the salary will be around 30,000 to 35,000. If it is an hourly basis, when we are working eight hours or nine hours, and sometimes when we are working as freelancer, we'll be getting an hourly rate, means the content which is provided to us, if at all the content is one hour content, we take around three hours to four hours to type it. Because to type, I repeat, to type the one hour content, we may take three hours or four hours because we had to listen to their content we had to understand it, and then we had to type it. It is not so easy to understand the content in the initial stage. As the days go on, we can increase the speed and we can increase our income simultaneously. On an average, our income varies from 30,000 to 35,000 per month. And I have given the list of the companies who are recruiting this medical transcriptionist. We have the list of the companies. You can have a list. We can have a look at the list. Apart from this, there are various other companies. And I would like to add a note over here. Nowadays, the best booming industry is the medical transcriptionist industry. Though many apps have come up, the lot of technology has come up to transcribe the content Still, the transcriptionists are playing a vital role that is an important role in editing the content which is provided to us with the help of the technology. Now, in case of any queries or in case of any doubts, you can just feel free to contact me. My mail address, thegreat23 at gmail.com. So, I have anybody to 
express your opinion or views. Just waiting in the chat box. Anyone over here who wants to talk and know a little bit? Let me have a look. Yeah, good. Uh, here we have, how can we apply for jobs? Once you complete this course, you'll be, I'll give you the links also where we can apply ourselves for the jobs and uh, different companies are recruiting. It's not an issue. Later you yourself can check in the Google. Once you get the certification, you can apply for the job in various links. That is what I have answered, Teja. How can we apply for jobs? Tell about first topic, sir. Good. What is the first topic? Let me have an idea. Tell us just a minute. Uh, am I talking about this uh, first topic, the medical transcriptionist or the kinds of transcription? May I just know what topic it is? So, We'll start the session from tomorrow and tomorrow, first of all, we'll be dividing this medical transcriptionist into three phases. We'll be concentrating on English, the primary thing, and then we'll be concentrating on the basic computer knowledge, which may take up two classes also. Maximum two classes are sufficient for us to understand because you guys are well acquainted with the computer knowledge and everything. And the third topic is the medical terminology. So we had to deal with the different uh, types of medical terminology. We had to get acquainted with the different types of topics like who's the dermatologist and ophthalmologist and uh, a cardiologist and the neurologist and nephrologist and so on. And we'll be traveling through medical field for a month or so. Yeah, we do have the certification exam and it will be conducted at the end of the sessions. And based on your performance, a certificate will be provided. And with this certificate, you can apply for the jobs. Any other queries? So in case anything is there, you can contact me on my mobile also. It's not an issue. I'll just give you my mobile number. Please jot it down. It's 812-123-2300. Two. I repeat, it's 812-123-1232. So please feel free to contact me anytime, 24 by 7. I'll try to help you out in case I'm unable to reach you. Immediately, I may try to contact you or call you later to clarify it out. Thank you for the session. Thank you all. Catch you later.